Not your mapes. Not one. Not it's a one. pair. We got a two. <laughs> the top one is approximately a 2,000 year model. Um, that one's mine, a little bit bigger. I have a record 10 on there with a Veloflex 28 centimeters and a Stella Italia flight saddle. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Look at that. And then Tammy's is actually uh, quite a bit fancier. Hers is, a, I believe, a 97, but it has the blue anodized ambrosia rims, um, the Dura-Ace uh, anniversary, <coughs> excuse me, Shimano 7400 group set, which is actually what Team Mapei raced with that year. Um, even though it's an Italian bike, they did not always have Italian group sets. So there were times it was equipped with Shimano, so hers is actually period correct. But uh, we we love these bikes, and these are another pair where people really appreciate seeing them out on the trails and get a lot of looks and very nice compliments. That's why they're in the house. Yes, that's why they're in the house. <laughs> yes. Yeah, those don't go in the basement or the garage or, or anywhere else. Here's the second one. Oh, my. Yeah. Unbelievable, guys. You guys struck gold. It's an unbelievable. Yeah, there are a couple of very minor nicks on mine. If you look hard, you can find them. Hers is just about museum clean. I got this down in Southern California. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. San Diego? Or... Uh, it was the LA, actually. I oh, okay. Yeah, I think it came out of the LA area. Yeah, mine I... came out of the Bay Area. But a gentleman had built this, like, uh, more or less as just a, a project of love. I don't think he ever wrote it. Okay. So one of the first things we did is we changed the tires because they had 19 centimeter tires on it. <laughs> they were pretty skinny. Yeah. And this is called like the star shaped tubing, is that right? Um, yes. It's, uh, it's it's not round. It's got right. these in, in, the, indentations. The is a Colago thing. Yes. With their, with their um, models. My Colago has it too. Yeah, I'm going to work. Any other bike company does that. Um, At least not that I can recall. Yeah, I don't think so. <coughs> Just... And you got the water bottles too. Oh yeah, yeah she's got the matching water bottles. <laughs> silly plastic bottles are like hundred bucks a piece. Oh, <laughs> just because they say the pay on them, you know. The pay. Exactly. The yeah. seat that came with this bike. Um, they were making. We were on this vintage bike group, and I had people coming out of the rafters trying to. It was. It's a Hoskar the pay bike. It's I sold, sold it on eBay for five four fifty. Wow. She it probably was, could have gotten over 600 people it, were going nuts over this It was saddle. gone in less than 10 minutes. The second we listed it, it was gone. And it was the most horribly uncomfortable it saddle was, she ever sat on. Then, it was I'm just... Like, I don't want a museum piece under my bottom. I need something that's comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so while those Mapei bottles go for 100 bucks, if you can find them, I found these online from a place called Redbubble. They were about nineteen dollars, <laughs> and uh, and it's Colnago branded. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whether they stole the brand and Colnago doesn't know this, yeah, I'm exactly. not sure, but a lot cheaper than that. Yes. <laughs> so over so here so we have the C40. All right, this is the final museum piece. This is the final one. Now this was um, originally a kind of a black and yellow gray uh, paint scheme that's pretty common to C40s, but it. Like I mentioned before, it looked like it had been ridden behind a gravel truck and it had dozens and dozens of chips all over the finish. <clears throat> so we just decided to have it repainted in a color that I was really more happy with. And that was done by uh, Rick Stefani at D&D &D Cycles in San Lorenzo, who's been doing bike paint work for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. does fantastic work. But this has uh, Campanello Record 10. Uh, it's actually a chorus crank set, but the rest of it's record. Those are Reynolds Stratus clincher full carbon wheels, um, GP 5000s, Sella Italia saddle, as you can see. And I love the way you did this. Yeah, the championship yeah. rings there that under the head, under the uh, stem. Blingy. Yeah, that got to have a little bit of bling on it. And uh, this is my uh, Sunday only. We just had the spokes changed. They were black. We had 
That's Lou had a nice spokes put in it. <clears throat> so, yes, yeah, so I'm actually going to be taking this for my first real ride tomorrow with some friends. Um, but this one's not going to come out too much, which seems kind of silly. You have a bike, you don't ride it much, but <laughs> the first scratch I get on this thing is going to be very painful. <laughs> so I'm trying to just keep it as far away as I possibly can. It's do. on the fireplace mantle. That's yes. where it is. But this, we've had this happen more than once. This originally was a bike that Tammy bought for herself in San Diego and then found out it didn't fit. I've inherited probably five bikes that way. Oh, God. Yeah. So it's not like I would ever encourage her to buy a bike knowing it's not really her size, right? <laughs> no. No. No, not. you wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's um, the last bike we have here. We have two other bikes that are being painted. She has a Penarola Montello that's Teresa. being painted. Treviso. Treviso, excuse me. Being painted by Rick, a candy pink. And that is a, a vintage uh, style bike. And then Rick is also painting for me. We're doing a reproduction of the Schwinn Wheaties Paramount bike. Okay. So um, we're lucky enough to find that actually there's a gentleman who lives here in Nevada City who was on the Schwinn Wheaties race team. Oh, wow. So he's been able to give me all the information on how these bikes were set up. There's lots of pictures online of what they look like. So we found a uh, 1988 89 Paramount frame in my size. And Rick is painting it to look just like the Schwinn Wheaties. And I'd like to say that's be the last bike we'll ever buy. But... We, we keep saying we're going to be there. Yeah. That, yeah. that, that's going to be the last bike you will buy, but Tammy will continue the tradition, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so, so, so this... far, that's the collection to this point. So this, this is a, sort of a unique uh, couple where the, it's it's Tammy who's the instigator here yes, and yeah. who Absolutely. loves the bikes more than, he... than <laughs> Tom. I'm kind of like herding cats. <laughs> It doesn't work real well. <laughs> good. You're not complaining. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not, no. In the least. <laughs> not in the least. No, we have a great time. We, and we actually do a lot of cycling. We of course. We the impression that we just collect these and hang them around. Yeah, we, um, I think... And half of it's just been the adventure of acquiring the bike, fixing yeah. it out, and we ride it for a while. Like, okay, we try something else now. We, <laughs> we sell our bikes and we meet wonderful people. Yeah. We have. Um, we have. That's actually just half, how we... Half of it's been the journey. Mm -hmm. That's how we met our cycling group was we posted a bike on sale on Craigslist. A wonderful couple showed up. And after we concluded the sale, they said, would you like to join our ride group? So then we met all of these other people. Mm. That's just so really that cool. bike was a great wonderful gateway experience. to making new friends. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we met you. Yes. Yeah. So now if we go to LA, we've got a <laughs> bike ride. There you go. Are you familiar with Pinarello Prince of Spain? Yes. I had a Pinarello Prince of Spain in 2009. Okay. And there was only like 200 of them made and it was too small. Yeah. And it was a little bit noisy, but it had Super Record 11 on it. It was a beast, but it was just too small. I decided, mm, I'm not riding it. So we found a guy on the bike trail riding a Pinarello Prince and his wife bought it. Uh -huh. She's shorter than me, so um, there's a matching yeah. set of Pinarello princes running around on the bike trail now that yeah. we met these people. Yeah, there, there, are, there are bikes that are made for individuals, and you you got to be lucky or whatever. It's just yeah. meant for you. Yeah, it, it really is like a, the shoe fits or it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can't make it fit, and I keep forgetting that. Yeah. <laughs> it's the colors. The it's the color. It's, a, it's, it's like so a pretty. perfect jaw to foil. It's so pretty. Look, the helmet. Yeah. yeah. Never mind if it fits. I mean, it's pretty, right? <laughs> that guy probably knew I was, you know, when I bought the, um, the, uh, what is this? The, my champagne one we just. The Mercian? The Mercian. Yeah, he told you. Oh, uh, he told he me. I was like, I'll wear thicker titties. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'll pat my shoes. <laughs> do it. Can't do it. <sighs> awesome. She used to be a CDF firefighter, and she would have to sit on a book to drive the fire engine. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got this. Short this vertically challenged thing all my life. Yeah. <laughs> so do you like to try out the Rosessa? Yeah, 